What's up guys, Mike Dakota here. I have not uploaded a video in a long time. I'm sorry about that. I couldn't actually create a tutorial for anything, but I just want to give a good explanation and uh, not explanation. I just want to give a quick video on a thing that I have a huge trouble with a lot. And I think it's the reason why I was not improving at all. Um, when you do math problems, you do do never, never ever copy and paste code. And I'm, I think I've said this in a previous video, but I want to be iterate it again. I think it wasn't the main focus of the video, but you really don't want to copy and paste code. And here's the reason why. Cause like, okay. So I've been doing these, uh, CSES problem sets, right? Which is kind of like, they're kind of, uh, they're not really basic problems. They're, they're standard problems that you would probably see in, uh, most competitive programming problems. Right. So in one of the case, it was this problem where it's like two nights, right? Basically, your task is to count the number of ways two knights can be placed on the K by K chessboard, and they do not attack each other. So this problem is actually a math problem, right? And the thing is that um, I realized that if you're doing these problems, right, and you actually look at the math equation and you just plug it in, that's terrible. Like the editorial or whatever the thing is, you're not going to learn anything because the whole idea of doing these problems for math problems is to come up with the equation, right? Because then you're not going to improve at all. Even no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're doing, whatever problem, if you're going to copy and paste a code, you might as well not even submit anything. Might as well don't not even attempt the problem because you're not learning anything. Like the, the thing is when you do problem sets, right? When you do these problems, there was one time when I'd literally spend like, I don't know how many, how many, I had like over a hundred submissions on one of these. I don't, I don't know where it is, but it was, it was definitely somewhere. Yeah. Look at this. Okay. So I had like a ton of submissions for these, right? It wasn't a hundred, but there was a lot. And I literally, literally just kept trying over and over and over again to see like, uh, beautiful permutation but then later on i was able to get a seed right that's that's the that's how you should approach these problems try whatever the thing you can do because in the end in a contest you cannot just copy and paste code copying and pasting code is a terrible idea don't even do it in like in production side if you have a job as like a software engineer or anything don't even copy and paste code because generally okay when you type out code, like when you type out code, right? You generally remember the code much better when you type it out. I think this is the same thing when you do like take, it's kind of the same thing as taking notes for the, from a textbook, right? By hand, you generally remember it more when you take notes by hand. But uh, I think it's the same similar way in that like, if you actually type out the other person's code, you're probably more likely to remember it. So if, you, if, uh, if you're gonna copy and paste code, might as well type it out first but generally you should not copy and paste code. You should actually read it and try to implement it yourself. So yeah, um, that's basically the thing. And th another thing I have to say is that before you even read the editorial, you have to attempt the problem as hard as you can. Like try literally everything. Like one way you try brute forcing, if that doesn't work, try another thing. If that doesn't work, I don't know, try, try coming up with a math equation. If that doesn't work, try using a set, try using a hash map, try using two pointer, try using dynamic programming, try whatever it is that you need to do in order to solve the problem. And in the end, if you still cannot submit anything and still can't get anything after 10 tries or 15 tries, then at that point, I think it's the best time to give up and look at the editorial. And once you read the editorial, try implementing it yourself. Do not, I repeat, do not copy and paste other people's code. If, if you still can't implement it yourself and you've tried at least another 15 submissions, then what you should do is you should go out and read other person's code, but don't copy it. Read the other person's code, then close it, wait a day. You probably will forget the code, try implementing it yourself. After another 10 to 15 submissions, sooner or later you will get a seed. And that's just, uh, that's just how I think of it. It should, you should, in total, maybe you should take like, I don't know, 50 submissions. 
Like at worst, at worst, 50 submissions. Ideally, you shouldn't take like 50 submissions. And I don't mean just like changing a tiny thing and then submitting it over and over again. I don't mean by that. Like actually try like 15 different ty- different ways to try to approach a result. Because you might be surprised that maybe some way you, you solve the problem and in, in, in one way that's not actually the same same as how the solution solved it. And maybe your way is better. You know, maybe maybe their way is worse than yours or maybe their way is better than yours. And then after you solve the problem, you looked at it and like, wow, I could have done it this way instead. So that's a good thing about um, why you should never copy and paste code. Just don't don't copy and paste code. It's not good for you. And even production side, if you don't understand what you're copying and pasting, then what's the point? Right. If you just copy and paste, maybe you should register or write a method or something, another function, maybe a new class. Right. In a production wise side. Maybe that's better, but never, ever copy and paste code. This is just my tip. But anyway, rate, comment, subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I, I'm pretty busy right now, but yeah, peace.